Hi, my name is Keith and I'm known as a Florida Stone Man and this is another different video. This video is going to be titled, You Should Be Wearing Carnelian because I think most people should be wearing Carnelian. It has actually made the most changes in most people's lives in the most positive direction. So why do I suggest Carnelian? Why am I straight into this video? Why is this video just about Carnelian? It's because it's the sacral chakra crystal. Let me talk about right now. Let me ask a question. And these might not apply to you. These might apply to you. So let me let me ask this question first. Do you ever feel lethargic? Do you ever feel tired? Do you ever feel drained? Do you ever feel moody? Do you ever feel not yourself? Do you ever feel like you want time to go by faster because it's not going by fast enough? Do you ever feel like you just, you have all this energy, like you could feel like you have all this energy but you have nowhere to put it so you just feel bummed out. Or maybe you don't know that and you just feel bummed out. Do you feel like, uh, your blessings are not on their way quick enough? Do you feel like there's not a lot of things happening in your life? Do you feel like just everything's kind of stagnant? Do you feel like, and I, I can go on for this, like, and people are like, well, I don't ask these questions because I don't feel like this. Well, these are sacral chakra blockages. No one seems to work on sacral chakra at all. At all. Like, people just miss, people dodge the sacral chakra. And I'll have a Carnelian series on the website in the future. This seems to be the most ne most necessary crystal for most people. People don't realize it. So this crystal, if you're not feeling yourself, and also, this is the biggest, biggest side effect. So the biggest side effect of the sacral chakra is, guess, guilt. So once you feel these emotions of all these different feelings that you're feeling, and then you're just, you feel bad about it. Like you flat out feel bad about it. You you don't like feeling these feelings and now you feel guilty. So now whatever these feelings that you're feeling on top of whatever you're feeling is guilt. So let's just say you're tired or you're like, you're irritable and you're moody and you're, you're, you feel upset with yourself or you feel guilty with yourself because you're negatively impacting people around you and it's changing other people's moods. It's because your sacral chakra blockage is kind of spreading. Now, what's, this, what's the ultimate crystal for the sacral chakra? And I'll talk about some, some other crystals in this video. It's mainly carnelian. Carnelian. So let me ask you some more questions. When you go out in public, does it seem like people are kind of irritable with you, less friendly, less, less nice? People are just not being them. It doesn't. See, it feels like people are not being themselves. People lack a certain energy. People are being weird, lethargic, etc. It could be because they're just picking up on your frequency or your frequencies at a medium level, and theirs is at a low level. So a medium and a low equals a medium low. A medium and a high equals a medium high. A high and a low equals a medium, okay? This is how vibration works. Law of vibration. Now, sometimes you could just deter each other off of frequency, but if it's your family or if it's your friends, etc., then you should definitely wear a crystal such as carnelian. This is the most helpful crystal. This gets rid of sacral chakra blockages. Now, let's talk about more things. How are your relationships? Maybe you're, maybe you're a loving person. Maybe you have these relationships. Maybe you're in a relationship with someone, and you, love, you might be kind of confusing because you're you there's love in the relationship but it's a boring relationship it could be a friendship it could be uh it could be a, a, someone you're romantic with etc but there's this relationship here and it's just boring and you feel guilty because it's boring these are sacral chakra blockages i tell you guys to not go around the sacral chakra for a reason it's because this it's not a popular chakra it's not oh it's not a third eye chakra and no it's not but if you're having these emotions if you're having these feelings if you're having these and you're just feeling this kind of drain, it's because the sacral chakra is, it's above the roots of the base of the tree. It's like the stump. It is it is a stump. So you're probably going to feel stumped if you don't take care of the stump. So when you cut a tree, the roots are the root chakra. The stump is the sacral. When you go up, it's solar plex at the body of the tree. Uh, heart, where it comes to the, the before it stumps to the branches, the branches are the third eye and crown, and, it's, and the throat, third eye and crown, etc. So what happens when a tree is not getting the nutrients it needs? It doesn't grow right and you people can see it doesn't grow right and people don't want to be around the tree people feel kind of uncomfortable around the tree people feel uh just they, they'd, they'd rather be around the tree who's flourishing so how can you correct this it's pretty easy wearing a crystal such as carnelian yeah wearing the crystal carnelian this crystal will greatly help you now what does it do it helps you and people and let's just say like you have a good love life but there's like everything's missing in, in the sense of passion so this crystal it hits, uh, let's just say you're putting stuff off too. Like if you're just someone who procrastinates, that's a sacral chakra too. Let's say you're a, you're a good student, but you're not doing as well as you could be because you're putting stuff off. It's because it's the sacral chakra. Sacral chakra has to do with passion, desire, fire. Just think of, I know online talks about the sacral chakra being, uh, 
it just talks about it being of water but it, it represents fire to me as well and fire in the general the element of fire now when it comes to the sacral chakra and this is i have very revolutionary information but it works it's very it's helpful to teach people so there's different polarities different polarities to different elements but in this sense we're talking about it being fire so let's talk about when you ha when you lack fire when the fire is lame and it go when the fire is low and lame it goes out it just it extinguishes but if it's too much then it burns things so you when you if your sacral chakra is overstimulated you might be doing too much at once you might be on the other end of the spectrum of everything i said so let's just say uh instead of for, if you're understimulated and you're not wanting to deal with people and what happens when you're overstimulated and you just keep going 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 does that mean you don't work on the sacral chakra no that doesn't mean you work not work on the sacral chakra it means you get into balance because when you hit a crystal such as carnelian and you wear that crystal and i'm gonna tell you the best way to wear carnelian soon you already know if you watch my videos but there's a, something you didn't know about carnelian so this crystal aligns you it aligns you it helps you calm down but it gives you energy if you need energy you know how on certain days it's because someone i just talked to at the gym she works at the gym she says well i like my energy but i don't like getting burnt out that's what carnelian does it literally helps you be in control of your emotions so what if you have a fire that you can't control it burns everything and it goes out versus you have a fire you can control you can control what it burns and now it's productive now it's cooking food now it's getting you warm etc so carnelian gets you warm in that regard as well so this crystal resolves most sacral chakra blockages so this crystal is actually one of the most necessary it's one of the most powerful in the sense of mystery blockages this is this is the sacral chakra this is a sacral chakra mystery blockages usually originate from the throat chakra i'll talk about the no i just I'll talk about the throat chakra next. It's the sacral chakra. Sacral then throat chakra. But people have these mystery blockages. Complete mystery. It's like, I don't know why I feel like this. It's because your sacral chakra is not in it's not working out the way it should. The, the base of the tree, the stump, if it's not doing well, then the carnelian crystal helps that do well. It gives it the fire it needs. It helps have more control over the fire. So too much fire is good, too little fire is no good. The crystal carnelian just invigorates the fire when it needs to be invigorated and it takes back the fire when it's burning too much so when what you can expect from wearing carnelian ooh, I, I don't really talk about what you can expect from wearing carnelian but you can see your relationships change so if you're more irritable moody etc etc it feels like magic because it just like you feel normal again you just say hmm huh, i don't feel moody anymore i don't feel irritated magic it works like magic <laughs> but uh yeah it really does so you can get yours from floridastoneland.com by the way if you can't tell but what's the best way to wear carnelian i'd wear it as a long necklace a long necklace so it's going down these top chakras so what does carnelian do on different chakras it aligns them it gives them certain energies that radiate with that chakra so what happens if you put carnelian in the heart chakra it gets your love life more excited in relationships as well so wearing carnelian as a necklace is definitely helpful it gives you more energy and it invigorates the higher chakras I said the most common questions I ever see is, can I wear amethyst and carnelian? Because people, there are people on on TikTok, on Instagram, on on different places that will they found out if they make up crystal information and they add if they say the craziest things about crystals, they'll get the most views. Unfortunately, those people get hit with the like a truck of like a truck of crystals hits them with their karma because they're scaring people from actual information. But for example, there's this uh, person on TikTok who. Uh, sell certain tumbles or whatever she had no views until she started lying about crystals at least her commenters are i'm not gonna say who it is so i don't give it attention or light but her commenters are now calling her out because people are realizing what she's saying is not real but she said you can't wear you can't wear amethyst you can't wear citrine or not citrine you can't wear amethyst and you can't wear carnelian and she came up with some bogus information because you, you have to keep in mind <laughs> my impressions you have to keep in mind that the crown chakra is about calming down and the sacral chakra is about speeding up. Um, you can't have both. You can't walk and drink water at the same time. Uh, you can't sleep and roll over. You can't. Uh, what's another example? Yeah, you, you have to. You, have, you guys have to know. This is breaking up a misconception. For people who say this bogus information, the crystals are literally growing next to each other in the ground. When these miners are fighting these crystals, they're next to each other. They're growing next to each other because they have the same chemical composition that allows them to grow. If the earth can grow them next to each other, you can wear them next to each other. 
wear it especially as a necklace because it touches upon your higher chakras and along your necklace it'll trickle upon your lower chakras as well leading you to see happy changes you'll see more excitement you'll feel better you'll have more good news you won't feel as, as lethargic or as as yeah as lethargic i'm trying to say two words at once in one as lethargic as moody you'll feel a lot better the best way to ever wear carnelian as well is as a belt so i showed you guys my belt in a video or two ago but when you wear carnelian as a belt it literally hits the chakra directly that's the goal that's the best way to wear crystals you can also put them as bracelets but if you put them as bracelets swap them between your left and your right best combination i said in the world is for getting married is rose quartz and carnelian i've had two people and a third person who got a rose quartz carnelian and i'm gonna put that necklace on the website but rose quartz and carnelian as a necklace has gotten two people for me who've gotten carnelian for me married there's some interesting stories about those two people but now there's a third person now and that has to be the twin flame combination so i'll talk more about that in the future in twin flame you guys know my perspective on twin flames but i still help you guys uh learn about learn about that in the way you guys like to learn about it so because everyone resonates differently but carnelian literally invigorates it energizes it gives you fire so all the guilt of why you don't feel good goes away now carnelian has an effect on other people as well around you so what happens when the tree is dying and like the tree doesn't look good the tree doesn't feel good and people around it they're going to be irritable and moody as well so your frequency actually defines other people's frequencies as well if you don't believe that if you're not feeling good and you go to a family member and they're not feeling good or if they're, they're feeling okay and you make them not feel good now you have two people in the same frequency of being low that's why people have to be oil oil and water i mean yeah, oil and water works not oil and fire but fire and water so they have to cancel each other out so if someone's being really really harsh in energies wear a crystal such as carnelian and you'll actually calm them down because it trickles into your environment so these people especially when you wear it as a necklace or on the right side of your body because it has to it has to do the yin and yang when you project on when you have the right right side hand wearing carnelian or because as a necklace it's doing both so when it's more on the right side it's putting that piece into your environment and people are going to be nicer to you but when it's on your left side people are going to be more calm people are going to be more smooth people are going to be more relaxed uh just because you feel more relaxed so people are getting affected by it either way what happens when you wear it on the left side and you're getting both the benefits when you wear it as a necklace but when you wear it on your left side it's helping you feel more loved and more cool and more it, it'll help you feel hot like hot what do i mean by hot like oh hot like a model hot no it's like sometimes you have to have a certain energy about yourself to get through your day and not just get through your day but succeed in your day so you don't want to just get by you want to strive and succeed so it'll have you feeling hot like Ooh, what's this new energy it's like well i'm feeling myself <laughs> but that's what carnelian does this is what this crystal's energy does it gives you certain energy and it helps you embody that it helps you become the aspect of the energy that you truly deserve and you truly need so it helps with sense of unworthiness senses of uh like if you don't feel like you deserve sometimes it comes from the heart chakra but if you're working on your heart chakra and you have not worked on the sacral chakra that's not how it works you can't i mean literally we start from the ground up we start we start from the root chakra and we go to the crown now if you're not if you're working with every other crystal besides carnelian or any kind of orange crystals and you're still having blockages that's why that's the most common thing ever in the entire world is people will not work with the crystal that they don't want to work with most people's least favorite color when it comes to crystals is usually orange i'm going to show you my carnelian which is on floridastoneman.com that's red fire carnelian and there's another carnelian next to it usually uh it spins around there is the orange carnelian so the red one's more so for life force and passion and desire the orange one's more to have fun so that's another thing too if you don't feel like your life is very fun carnelian it's that simple this this crystal it has a frequency that offsets the low frequency of a of a feeling that doesn't feel good now it'll stop you from feeling as drained it'll protect you from energy vampirism it'll help you get your energy back from energy vampires it helps you regenerate your own energy now i do like i said i suggest it as a necklace you can wear it uh, as a headband or as a crown which i'll have in the future too which it invigorates your mind it'll give you mental powers and it'll have you uh doing some really cool things it'll open some uh cool spiritual abilities that's all i can say because i can't talk about spiritual abilities on youtube but it'll give you new powers and you have to keep in mind this will invigorate you this will rekindle your flame this will rekindle other people's flames this will give you fire and desire as the sun comes out of the clouds but carnelian's where it's at if you're not wearing it then you're missing out get yours from floridastonian.com uh there's also one kind of carnelian that's carnelian like pink carnelian it's super rare i might have it in the future 
but it's good for the heart chakra and mending relationships. So if you have any questions, ask them in the comment section. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.